Welcome to SoaringHammer.com, Forfeit.com, and Sithika here. You might remember me from movies such as National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and uh, Dust Before Dawn. No, that wasn't me. Disregard that. Alright, so, y'all remember the video we just did? Uh, believe it or not, it's actually uploading as I speak, but you have already watched it, so it's a matter of time's relevance, okay? But this is the card, the AI chip that we were referring to earlier. Now, something I was working on recently was taking, remember we talked about using this type of method as far as the chip itself goes, and then using something like this, using the SD card with an SD port. Okay, well, I just happen to have, imagine that, in Iraq, bored, and I just happen to have a, a, an SD port along with the USB port. I have a pair of speakers which takes a thumb drive to play music along with plugging into a normal headphone jack and Taylor my cameraman here is like well is that being used and I was like holy beep no it's not being used so we took it out and we modified it for this purpose okay so we take it out and on the bottom here you still have your USB and then also have your SD uh, card we took out these two screws here one here and one here took this piece off. When I did that, in the back here, it's encased with a metal case, with an aluminum case, okay? We cut out a complete center piece out of the middle of the aluminum. And then I made a plastic top and I super glued the plastic on top to keep it enclosed. But now the metal is broken on both sides. At the base, of each of the or uh, of this actual uh, SD RAM or SD port there is a uh, soldering points here and here which actually fasten this metal case with this actual port to the chip so what I ended up doing was tapping into the solder with yellow which is still a positive wire I didn't have red so a yellow wire one here on this side one here on this side so it's actually connected to the metal casing so this wire runs along this whole side of the case and then this wire is kind of to this side of the case now theoretically speaking now I have a broken gap in between the two and if I were to insert this card and have a metal connection here a metal connection here it will now connect my two broken pieces and this is the beginning to the housing unit for the um, Spartan Halo AI chip. Now I'm going to keep the USB port on the bottom. I could have just pop it off or solder it off and just have the SD portion, but I think I'd get a little character. I'll determine that once I'm ready to put it into a helmet, which I don't even have here in Iraq anyway. Somebody send me a helmet and I'll put it in your helmet for you. Uh, free of charge. And uh, send it back to you. Because uh, it's just a general concept and I can make more. So send me a helmet. And I will put this in for you. Done. Okay. I lost my train of thought. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the USB portion on, but once I go to put the helmet out, the determined for one just one slot or two. But all right. Well, obviously you know it's your positive and your negative run straight from the battery to your object to your endpoint. So this will get clipped. Go to the battery. This will get clipped. Go to your endpoint. You're ready to go. So phase. Two, phase one was planning phase. Phase two is now the beginning, but it's now making the installation portion, uh, and then we'll go from there. So remember, if we can do it, so can you.